The anathemash table is many things. Um, it's an educational tool, certainly for um, medical students, but it's also used by physicians to plan surgical procedures. They can bring their whole team in, design a surgery around it. Um, it's also used in research. You can, I've worked with companies that create devices uh, that are inserted into the body and they can actually put the patient's anatomy on the table and fit the device to the patient, uh, so it's customized there. Um, so it's many things um, depending on the need and depending on the level of the student. Um, students really, particularly the current generation, um, loves working with things like um, anything that's very high tech, and this appeals to them. Uh, but virtual anatomy, which is what the table really is, um, appeals to a lot of people because it takes it from a two-dimensional structure to a three-dimensional structure, even four-dimensional because you can uh, put the time factor in. And so um, I think this is something that captures students' attention, uh, makes them more motivated, but I think mostly it's important that students are now able to actually be their own instructors. They participate in their learning. I think advice for educators um, is to take advantage of what the table offers, uh, not just in terms of the images it provides and the way you can look at the images, but also in the fact that this is something that students can readily learn to use on their own and really participate in their own learning process. And I think for many educators, that's newer for us than it is for students. And I think um, the one bit of advice I would say is let the students be their own teachers, let them work together to answer questions um, after an initial introduction, of course, but um, students learn best when they are actually looking for their own answers. And I think um, this is something that the Anatomage table offers and really provides um, students with that hasn't been done before.